subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is algae of the chapter plant kingdom algae study of algae is known as phycology algae are mostly mainly aquatic some terrestrial growing on moist places and some are symbiotic like lichens or lichens where they are associated with fungus the plant body of an algae is thallus that is it is not divided into root stem and leaves that is why they are placed under the group thallophyta according to the older classification these are photoautotrophic organisms that is they can synthesize their own food as they contain chlorophyll algae is divided into three classes chlorophyce phyophyce rhodophyce thallus organization in algae they are either unicellular the unicellular ones can be motile that is they have flagella example chlamydomonas or non motile without flagella example chlorella they thallus can be filamentous filaments can be unbranched as in case of eulothrix and spirogyra branched as in case of cladophora or heterotrichous as in case of ectocarpus heterotrichous means they have some filaments that are prostrate growing flat on the soil and some that are erect thallus can also be siphonaceous tube like cynocytic means the thallus is aseptic without any septa or partition and are multinucleated example waukeria now this is a waukeria next is pseudoparenchymatous means the cells of the thallus appear to be parenchymatous but are not parenchymatous example red algae batrachus pama and the last the thallus is parenchymatous means made up of parenchyma cells example alva sargassum so these were the different types of thallus organizations in algae reproduction vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation means if any part separates of the thallus then it can divide and form a new plant next asexual reproduction Asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores, aplanospores, echinids, and palmella stage. Zoospores, do zoospores are motile spores. Aplanospores, they are non-motile spores. While echinids, echinids are resting spores. Means under unfavorable conditions, the protoplasm contracts. gets surrounded by thick wall and has plenty of reserve food so that it can tide over the unfavorable condition while palmella stage is seen under dry conditions under dry conditions the cell wall of the parent cell gelatinizes along with the cell wall of the daughter cells due to which the daughter cells they come to lie in a mass of gelatin as favorable conditions come in the gelatinizes gelatin dissolves in water and the daughter cells develop flagella and swim out of the mass of gelatin the formation of zoospores aplanospores and even gametes 
occur in the same manner. Now, when a zoospore is formed, the protoplasm of the parent cell contracts, its nucleus undergo mitotic divisions, each nucleus gets surrounded by some amount of protoplasm, wall formation occurs and they develop two flagella at its anterior end which then swim out from the parent cell or you can say from the zoosporangium. In the same manner, the gametes are also formed. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction can be isogamy, anisogamy or oogamy. Isogamy means the fusing gametes are of the same size. Now, gametes are formed in the same way as the zoospores, but they are smaller in size than the zoospores and are more in number per cell than the zoospores. So when the gametes are of the same size, it is isogamete. When the gametes are of different sizes, it is anisogamy. But both are motile. And in case of oogamy, the egg is larger in size, non-motile while the male gamete is smaller in size and motile. So sexual reproduction can be isogamy, anisogamy or oogamy. Chlorophyce. Now these algae are green in color as they contain the green pigment chlorophyll A and B along with the carotenoids. Green algae are of variety of forms unicellular, motile or non-motile, filamentous, branched, unbranched, heterotrichous, some sinocytic as in example Vaucaria or they are even parent chymatous, example Alva. The pigments are present inside chloroplast which are of variety of shapes. They can be discoid, plate-like, reticulate, cup shaped or even ribbon shaped. Chloroplast has pyrenoids. The storage organs are pyrenoids. These are rounded protein bodies with starchy envelope. Some even store food in the form of oil droplets. Cell wall is made up of cellulose with an outer layer of pectus. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation, asexual, zoospores, asplanospores or even palmella stage. Sexual reproduction is mainly is isogamy. But in some, anisogamy and even oogamy can be seen. Most green algae have a haplontic life cycle. Means the main part of the life cycle is the gametophyte or haploid. While the sporophytic generation is reduced and is represented by a single cell that is zygote which immediately undergoes meiosis. So in that case, zygotic meiosis occurs. Diplontic life cycle can be seen in green algae chloropa, while diplohaplontic life cycle can be seen in alva and cladophora. Examples of green algae are Chlamydomonas, Chlorella, Eulothrix, Spirogyra, Alva, Cladophora, Cara. While cephalurus is a green algae which causes red rust of tea. Chlorella and alva are used as food while chlorella is used in sp space flights to provide oxygen. Even in sewage ponds, chlorella and chlamydomonas are used. Alva is commonly referred as 
सी लेट्यूस फीओफाइसी और ब्राउन आलगी दीज आर एक्सक्लूसिवली मेरीन प्लांट्स दे ऑकर इन वाइड रेंज ऑफ फॉर्म्स नो यूनिसेलुलर फॉर्म कैन बी सी The brown algae are massive in size and are generally referred as giant kelps. The pigments present in brown algae is chlorophyll A, C and fucoxanthin. They are generally olive green to brown in color. Now, the thallus of most brown algae has a stalk-like structure called stipe. which is attached to the rocks by hold fast and an has a upper expanded leafy structure called the frond so most green algae has a thallus that can be divided into stipe hold fast and frond reserve food found in brown algae is laminarin there are no pyrenoids found in brown algae certain cells in the thallus get converted into long filaments and are referred as trumpet hyphae they act as food conducting tubes while the cells possess colorless fucosin vesicles which contain tannin that prevent the growth of other algae upon them the cell wall of brown algae has is made up of an inner cellulose and the outer mucilaginous layer which contain phycocolloids like algin or alginic acid vegetative reproduction is by means of fragmentation asexual reproduction by zoospores now these zoospores are pear shaped and laterally biflagellated sexual reproduction isogamy and isogamy and oogamy even the gametes are also laterally biflagellated the zygote germinates without any period of rest life cycle of kelps and ectocarpus is diplohaplontic while that of fucus and sargassum is diplontic sargassum is found floating in the seas in masses and they get entangled to the hull of ships slowing down the speed so they are a menace for the ships in the oceans Fucus and laminaria are rich of rich source of iodine while alginic acid is used commercially in ice cream toothpaste shampoo creams etc examples of brown algae are ectocarpus laminaria fucus sargassum and dictyota rhodophyce or the red algae these are highly specialized marine algae with the only exception exception being batrachospermum which is fresh water form the thallus of red algae is parenchymatous the pigments present in red algae are chlorophyll a d phycoerythrin and some amount of phycocyanin now those found in deeper oceans are deep red in color because only blue green light reaches deep inside the water that can be absorbed by phycoerythrin hence they are deep red in color while those red algae found in shallow waters they generally appear green or blue due to presence of more of chlorophyll a or some phycocyanin they occur in a variety of forms like filamentous ribbon shaped leaf like 
Cell wall is made up of cellulose and pectic substances which contain phycocalytes, some of which contain sulfur like agar and also present are carrageenan. Gelatinous material is highly abundant and they have deposits of calcium carbonates. That is why they form the corals. Reserve food material is fluoridine starch which is similar in structure to glycogen or amylopectin. Some pyrenoids are also present. Asexual reproduction takes place by non-motile spores. So no motile cells are found in red algae. Sexual reproduction is always oogamous. The male sex organ is the spermatangium inside which develop the male gametes called the spermatia. While the female sex organ is carpogonium which is a flask shaped structure having the receptive hyphae or trichogyne. Now the spermatia is carried by the water currents to the trichogyne causing fertilization and due to fertilization the zygote is formed. This zygote divides to form the carposporophyte which then produces non-motile spores called the carpospores. The carpospores divide and grow into tetrasporophyte. Tetrasporophyte forms non-motile spores after meiosis called the tetraspores that are haploid. They then grow to form the new plant. So zygote is deployed, carposporophyte is deployed, carpospores are deployed, tetrasporophyte is deployed while tetraspores and the main plant both are gametophyte. Now this is the life cycle of a red algae. The main plants which are dioecious that is male gametophyte and female gametophyte. In the male gametophyte develops spermatangia while in the female gametophyte develops carpogonium. With fertilization the zygote is formed. The zygote forms the carposporophyte inside which develops the carpogonia which produces the non-motile spores called the carpospores. Carpospores develop into the tetrasporophyte in which develop the tetrasporangia which produces tetraspores after meiosis and these tetraspores divide to form the gametophytic plant. So, red algae have a haplodiplontic life cycle. Porphyra and chondrus, they are used in food and fodder. Agar obtained from gelidium and gracilaria is used in culture medium and as a stabilizing agent in jellies, puddings, bakery and also used in textile and leather industry. Karajinin is used in chocolates, ice creams, toothpaste, paints as emulsifier. Harveyella is a red algae that is parasitic. So examples of red algae are gelidium, gracilaria, porphyra, polysiphonia, and batrachospermum. Batrachospermum is green in color as it is a fresh water form. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.